January 1st, 1907. A new year. Marm and I went to the festivities in Herald Square last night to celebrate. I stayed long enough to eat fried pike and crack two fireworks and to watch Marm's friend, Mr. Silver, give her a slim shell bracelet. Despite my hesitation, there is something about Mr. Silver's round features that makes me and Marm smile whenever we look at him. I feel myself warming to him, his presence in our lives lying our hearts. The streets were crowded with folks dancing and laughing and drinking and singing, their hats falling off, their cheeks red. I poked some with Uncle David, which made me feel lonely. That and watching all the lovers kiss at midnight. Marm and I went home er shortly after and listened to the fireworks until, she until sleep overtook us. I will be 17 this year. I think my resolution to read more about book, to read more books and to study more of the sciences on my own. But how? Anushka's father had a treasury of books. Those he retained from his store across the street. New science books are far too expensive to buy, and the library contains only musty copies of old textbooks and several difficult medical journals and I've attempted that I've attempted to read in the past, only to feel like I was studying Latin if it weren't for the illuminating figures. I would be no, it would I would understand nothing. Anushka suggested that I ask that science fellow to help tutor me, but I'm not sure I wish to have such close relationships relations with him. When by chance I see him in the hallway, he stops me with his eyes and winks. I wait for him to say something, an intelligent scrap that might interest me, but he sees me as the only female and can't talk to me in any other way, it seems. Very tiring, if only he worked as hard on his mind as he does on his polished appearance. Anyhow, I know eventually Mr. Soper can teach me all that I need to know.